Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. You know, I enjoy watching YouTube videos and I subscribe to a good number of channels and uh, many of them have uh, outdoor activities or firearm related content. And uh, you know what's really cool is many of these channels like to share their knowledge, uh, share skills uh, to help other folks out. I know that you know I've learned a lot about bushcraft skills and camping skills and firearm different uh, techniques and things of that nature from here on YouTube from folks doing just that. And it wasn't that long ago I saw a video from a, a gun channel and what he was sharing was a different technique to uh, operate the slide on a semi-automatic handgun to aid folks that may have a, a difficult time doing that. You know, there can be a, a variety of reasons, whether it's, uh, I don't know, your size or, uh, you know, there's some young people, some females that don't have a whole lot of upper body strength. Uh, and uh, you may have some sort of physical malady that uh, makes it difficult to operate the slide on a semi-automatic handgun. And there are a few techniques out there that can help you in that situation. He was sharing uh, one, and what I would like to do is add to that and share another technique. Now uh, this technique, I haven't really seen it used a lot. Uh, I, I kind of sort of thought about it when I was on a camping trip. But as it turns out, when I was talking to a buddy of mine who is a, uh, a firearm instructor for a rather large uh, and popular school, he said that he's actually been using that for a little while now, showing that technique. So don't think that I invented this, because I did not. But like I said, I was on a camping trip, and I was basically just carving out a uh, tent stake, okay? And I brought a knife to use as a prop to show you exactly uh, how I came across this. Now, a lot of people, when they are carving uh, something like a tent stake, they will often hold the stick in their hand, and they will cut outwards. It's a very safe method of using a knife. And this is a very good, powerful grip. But if you take the knife and you turn it around, like this and using that very same grip, bringing it up close to your body, you can use a method called a chest lever uh, technique for uh, carving and you can make deep cuts removing a lot of material in a very safe method and you're using your back muscles. You're contracting and expanding your, your very powerful back muscles and you don't have to use your arm strength. So you have your stick and you place the knife on there and using those powerful back muscles you can make deep cuts removing a lot of material okay and that's called the chest lever method it is also very safe because the range of motion of your back muscles is, is a very very short very limited right so your arms aren't flailing around with a very sharp knife they're compact or up close to your body and they have limited mobility right so it's a very safe method and as I was using that technique I got to thinking that you could apply that to firearms so I have a couple of different types of fire uh, semi-automatics here that I want to show you you folks and yes they've all been checked they don't have magazines and the chambers are empty to show you this technique applied to a firearm all right having that good sound uh, shooting grip Right? You bring the gun close to your body, you take your support hand, you put the heel right up against the slide and cupping your fingers forward. Now the method that was in this other video, the guy was using what we call a push-pull type method where you take your shooting hand and you push it forward and at the same time you take your support hand and you pull back and it makes for a very good uh, way of, of cocking, uh, uh, operating the slide on a semi-automatic. And uh, I have used that method many times showing people that are having difficulty with the uh, operation of the slide. But now when we use this new method, uh, it's, it takes the arm strength out of it. You know, you still have to have your heel of your hand up against the slide, you cup your fingers over, you dig it into them serrations really well, right? So you had to have some hand strength there. But you're now using your very powerful back muscles for the operation. And you, when you contract and expand your back muscles, it just automatically does that. And you, you're not using your upper body arm strength so much in that method. 
All right, so I have found that showing some folks this, this method of, of operating the slide, they really find it easy to perform and they're able to get that good grip and they're able to expand and contract those back muscles and they find it to be very easy. Now it's important to keep the firearm close to your body. The further you get away from your body, the more difficult it is and the more you're going to want to use or you have to use your arms, right? Keeping it up close to your body, you can use those very powerful back muscles to operate the slide. And all you're simply doing is contracting and expanding those back muscles. Now I have some other guns that I wanted to show you to show you that uh, you can use it with a variety of handguns. Here is a Glock 23, okay, and this, this is a compact style of Glock, the Glock 19, the Glock 23, the Glock 32, they're, they're all similar, okay. Again, even this, this has a smaller slide. It's not quite as tall, right, and it's not quite as long. But you can still get your heel of your hand on there, cupping around there and digging your fingers into that, those serrations, right? Bringing it close to your body, you can use those back muscles to contract and expand and cock the firearm, not having to use uh, your arms, your arm strength. Subcompacts are all the rage right now, and sometimes they can be the most difficult to operate because they're smaller guns, and because sometimes, because the slides are small and they're light, they have to use stiffer springs in order to operate the firearm the way it should be operated. And here is a subcompact gun. This is a CAR P9, okay? And as you can see, this is a very uh, compact gun, and there are guns that are smaller out there, but this is a model that I wanted to show y'all. And you can use the same method, good firing grip, right? Heel of the hand, now you have a much smaller slide, not, not as tall, not as long as the, even the, uh, the Glock 23. But you still can get your palm, the heel of your hand on the back of the slide, cupping your fingers over, digging into them serrations, right? Bringing that gun up close to your body, and you can use those powerful back muscles in a chest lever cutting type of method to operate the slide. Now, this may help some folks that find it kind of difficult in, in operating the slide just like the other method. So I wanted to add that and, and uh, share that information with you folks out there. So that's my video. Thank you for watching and remember to shoot straight on the range and in life. Thanks.